All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to my regular. Aha. <laughs> Let's do this again. Take two. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, my regular viewers, listeners, and watchers. And of course, if you happen to be here for the very first time, welcome. Before I go any further, my name is Rahul George, India's premier self-hypnosis coach and your personal guide. So this uh, little flub seems to be like perfect timing because uh, we are at a really, really important uh, point. I can definitely feel it in my own journey, in the work that I've been doing. And, you know, today, really, literally, the, 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 the topic or the theme for today's pod is the joy of creation. And uh, I'm going to spend a couple of minutes with you sharing not only my, uh, my deep gratitude to be able to do this work, but also to be, you know, in a way, remind you that uh, you are exactly where you're meant to be. And, um, you know, on this journey, especially as a digital coach, I can tell you that, you know, even if you have that self-doubt now, uh, pretty soon when you, like this, as they say, this will be in the rear view mirror, meaning that um, you'll recognize that uh, whatever, uh, you know, why you felt or why ever you felt uh, blocked uh, creatively and, you know, maybe you had, maybe you've got those self-doubts at this point. Uh, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> because uh, over a period of time, you will start to recognize patterns and eventually you will be able to get to a point where all this self-doubt, uh, all that it was doing was just getting you sharper and getting you ready for what comes next. Why am I saying this? Because, you know, one of the things that uh, for the longest time I've uh, wanted to do, but somehow I could never formalize it. I could never do it in a consistent way, uh, which today has become a reality, meaning that I'm able to do this. And I'm talking about, you know, creating hypnotic trances and uh, focusing on the five areas of the five streams that, uh, you know, especially if you're a regular viewer, listener and watcher, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about, which is basically health, wealth, relationships, spirituality, and purpose. So now I'm at a point where I've not only created a membership so people can actually take advantage of these hypnotic trances and listen on your own time, uh, you know, because maybe sometimes you're not able to watch this live. Maybe you're not able to, you know, stick around through the entire um, pod. Um, however, when you have this opportunity to now listen to these hypnotic trances, uh, you can literally focus on whichever area that you choose and whichever area that you want to work on at any given point in time. Now, this is something that for many, many years, and I'm talking a good uh, at least about uh, 10 years ago, probably longer. Uh, let me see, we're in 23. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's definitely been about maybe 10 to almost 15 years um, where this was something that, uh, you know, that that could have been created. And uh, a dear friend of mine used to, you know, used to call this, you know, creating hypnotic trances, a, a you know, the R pod, like you had the iPod. Uh, so you can imagine how far back this goes, right? But somehow, uh, I just did not believe in myself enough to be able to you know start creating stuff way back then right like a lot of uh, a lot of us as digital coaches and digital creators we have enough and more reasons as to why uh, you know why we don't want to or why we cannot um, create a particular kind of content now whether that is you know doing a podcast whether that is creating you know audio material whether that is creating a course, whatever it is that, you know, you've been wanting to create, uh, we have enough and more reasons why we don't do it. Now, one thing I can tell you is in hindsight, um, or with hindsight, that if you've not been able to create it till now, uh, one thing that, you know, definitely keep in mind is that it's okay, right? 
because when you look at the when you look at the 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 length of time that you are intending to do this work i'm going to assume for a moment that if you are somebody who truly enjoys and truly is inspired by doing this kind of work especially when you're working with your clients uh, whether it be in any of these one or five of these streams um, you know so you may be looking at being a healer or a coach in let's say you know in health or in helping people with uh, you know being becoming more wealthy right or relationships or you know, spirituality or even purpose right it doesn't matter uh, in the long tail of things that if maybe for the first year two years three years five years ten years you're, you're struggling if you're intending to do this for the next 20 30 40 years or more right so it's like literally if this is your vocation meaning this is what you're drawn to and it's your calling it's not like you're just sitting you know uh, as they say you're not just sitting on your hands for all this time so if you're trying to do one thing and you're not able to somewhere i'm sure you find yourself doing something else so it's like you know uh, off and on i've had this idea of you know oh yeah maybe even i should write a book but it's never really called to me right now, does that mean I will never write a book? No, of course I will at some point. Uh, when it came to you know recording these uh, hypnotic trances, I had my own reasons for not doing it. Whether it was technology, or, or you know whether it was oh I don't have enough data or enough space or whatever it was, uh, uh, I didn't do it. While there were enough and more people that were doing it, like however, I still did other things. And today when i'm at a point where i'm actually you know i've created a membership which means it's like people can actually buy it i've also created uh you know a way for you to sample this by going to my you know literally on this youtube uh, channel when you see there's a second podcast which is all about the audio um, you know hypnotic trances and there's also a video component to it you can consume it now how am i able to do this today because I've been learning other skills along the way. So even if I've not been able to, you know, hone this skill of recording and uploading and making hypnotic trances available, um, I still did other things. So I can promise you this, that in your journey, even if you're not able to do it one way, you'll still find yourself uh, improving on your skill and working on other components, other aspects of building the skill. And, and there will come a time where everything just kind of like clicks. Okay? And that's exactly why, like I said, you know, the, the topic is all about the joy of creation. And, um, you know, when you're able to still tap into this joy of creation, maybe, okay, I'm not making one kind of product, but I'm doing workshops. Okay, maybe I'm not doing workshops. I'm uh, doing masterclasses. Maybe I'm not doing that. I'm doing live meetups, right? It doesn't really matter in the moment which one you're doing, as long as you're doing, you're creating. And as you're creating, your idea of what you're meant to be doing will keep improving with time. That is the crux of this, right? The joy of creation. That as long as you're creating, sooner or later, you know, things will kind of move in a way where you just end up, you know, putting two and two together and boom, before you know it, you're doing more, you're doing a lot more, and more importantly, you're enjoying doing it, right? To me, if you ask me, you know, how do I show up like this every day? How do I, you know, have literally like more at this, at the time of this recording, more than 50 uh, podcast episodes, right? How do I now have a second podcast? Uh, you know, it's all of this. It's because I've been consistently showing up and doing because that is my driver. It's like I now I know that this is what I want to keep doing, and I've done it in different forms over the years, over literally the last you know twenty one years in different versions. But all of that has led to this, and all of this I'm sure is leading to whatever is coming next, right? So especially as a digital coach, you know, if you are somebody who's been struggling, maybe you're kind of racked with these. Uh, negative uh, beliefs about yourself, now is the time to actually shift things, right? And especially if you've done a lot of work where now you recognize that, okay, I need to also do the marketing side of, of the business and maybe you've invested money, you've invested you know, time, 
and you've uh, invested all of this in tools, in technology, and, you know, let's say working with a mentor. Now you've done all of that, but when you look at your bank account, you notice that something doesn't add up. And I can tell you this, one, I've been there. Two is the realization is that, you know, when you start to work on yourself, when you start to go inward, that is where a lot of this will start to click into place. So, you know, if you feel that, you know, now is the time for you to take action and go deeper, that's literally the reason why the workshop that I've created is called Mera Number Kab Aiga. What do I mean by that? If you're somebody who's maybe other people around you, you know, signed up for some of these courses and you've been in these various webinars and masterclasses and all of this, and they've moved ahead, but you're still kind of, it feels like you're, you know, your, your wheels are spinning in the same place. Now, when you actually start to focus inward, I can promise you that that is the missing piece. And rather than focusing on negative self-beliefs, and you start to build positive self-beliefs, you will see a massive shift in your life. And I've been able to do that. I've been now able to teach that to my students and my clients. And, um, you know, the, the power that I discovered was in, in hypnosis and self-hypnosis. And so today what I teach people is the ability to be able to use self-hypnosis in their own lives. So this workshop, like I said, is called Mira Number Kabaiga. And this is happening on Sunday at 11 a.m. Uh, treat this as your invitation to come and be part of this, to come and see for yourself how this can make a difference in your life. Now, this is a paid workshop, so definitely look out for the link. You will be able to definitely see it at the bottom of uh, probably in the, the comment section or the description. Otherwise, of course, reach out to me and I will definitely share the link with you. Um, and uh, if you feel and if you you know really connect with this, then uh, I can promise you that one, there is a community that's here to support you. And two, that I will do everything in my part to be able to help you on this journey that you are on as a digital coach. So with this, I'm going to wrap for now. I will be back again, of course. I do these uh, pretty much, the, the video is recorded every day. Uh, you will see them on YouTube as a podcast being uploaded from time to time. And of course, you can find the the next uh, uh, the next pod on my Facebook uh, uh, my Facebook page as well, right? So with this, uh, I'm going to wrap for now. But of course, I will be back for yet another one. And if there's anything and any way in which I can help you, definitely reach out and let me know. So remember, of course, as always, to live with purpose. So I will see you in the next one. As always. Have an amazing day ahead uh, or a week ahead and definitely a life ahead. Take care. God bless. See you in the next one.